and gentlemen, our host for the night, the ever-talented and beautiful Jane Seymour. It's really special for me to be here tonight to host the 23rd annual induction celebration and this awesome transformation of the Hall of Fame. Um, it's wonderful to look out at this audience with a ballroom full of guests from all segments of the industry. And we promise that we have a lot of fun and entertainment planned for you this evening. So before we uh, move forward to this inspiring celebration, I want to invite the president of the Hall of Fame, my favorite collaborator, my friend, the king of bling, <laughs> Mr. Michael Amini, please come to the stage. Well, we have a night packed with wonderful programs. And before we start the program, I want to thank Jane Seymour for hosting this evening. And uh, Well, thank you, Michael. Thank you. And, and now, without further delay, let's <laughs> thank you. I love being among, among what I consider to be my friends here. This is really fun. So let's begin the entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, and please join me in welcoming the talented Morgan James, live from New York. So, let me introduce Amini Audi, CEO and Chairman of L and JG Stickley. With her late husband Alfred, purchasing a struggling company in Manulis, New York, with only 25 employees in 1974, today Stickley employs more than 1,500 people with three manufacturing plants and 14 company-owned stores. In addition, Mrs. Audi, dedicated to preserving historic brands, has led the acquisition of Nichols and Stone, John Whittacombe, Heirloom Upholstery, and Zipola Leather, and Madison Square. An accomplished leader, Miss Audi has grown stickly by leveraging the, com the company's revered brand and sparkling a resurgence of interest in high-end arts and crafts styling. Manufacturing operations have been modernized, expanding seven times to more than 400,000 square feet, with two full shifts without a single layoff. An active mentor in the industry, champion Miss Audi has received numerous business, community, and industry awards, including the Honorary Doctorate of Humanity Letters degree from Colgate University. She personifies her philosophy, live with integrity and hard work and be passionate, positive, and persistent. Please help me in welcoming Amini Audi into the Hall of Fame. Are you really feeling the power? <laughs> Distinguished and honored guests, members of the Board of the Home Furnishings Hall of Fame, members of the Selection Committee, dear family and friends, I'm greatly honored 
and truly humbled to be the recipient of this very special award and to join the ranks of such highly esteemed furniture veterans and luminaries of our industry who have been inducted since 1989. There is truly no greater or more profound honor that can be bestowed on an individual than to be recognized by one's own colleagues and peers. I applaud the founding members of the American Home Furnishings Hall of Fame Foundation for their vision and collective wisdom in establishing an organization that researches and preserves our industry's history and honors those individuals whose achievements have contributed to its growth and development. I want to recognize especially the leadership of the current board, particularly its president, Michael Amini, whose enthusiasm is contagious and knows no bounds. and whose commitment to transforming the organization is so evident in this evening's celebration. Thank you, Michael. As I accept this award, I want to acknowledge the most important person in my life whose passion for resurrecting an almost dying company led us to Stickley. When in 1974, Mrs. Stickley called my late husband and said, Alfred, you're the only one who loves Stickley enough to keep its quality. Will you buy it? With unabashed enthusiasm and exuberant youth, he exclaimed, would I, if only I can afford it. And being the eternal optimist, I said, why, of course you can shows how foolish I was. <laughs> hand in hand, we breathed new life into Stickley and nurtured it back to health. But we never dreamed that one day it would become the highly acclaimed and revered company that it is today. I am delighted that our industry honored Alfred by inducted, inducting him into the Furniture Hall of Fame in 2008. Over the years, we have struggled, survived, and prospered. And throughout it all, we have been richly blessed by God's amazing grace and sustained by his abiding love. None of our accomplishments would have been possible had it not been for a very supportive community and the talents, commitment, and dedication of our world-class Stickley team. For them, no task is impossible, no deadline unattainable, and no mountain too high to climb. They have our utmost respect, gratitude, and love. Please join me in giving the Stickley team a hand. And of course, our family has immense admiration and gratitude to our Stickley dealers, many of whom are here tonight. Their unparalleled loyalty has been unwavering throughout the years. Why, they even took a chance on mission, even though many of them doubted it would sell. Thank you, dealers, for being so daring. <laughs> finally, finally, a very special thank you to our three wonderful children and their families who are here tonight. Edward and his lovely wife, Lila, Carolyn and her loving husband, Michael, and our amazing Andrea. I am also delighted that my cherished granddaughter, Anna Grace, is here tonight, and so is my nephew. Our children have always shared us generously with Stickley and the community and thus this award belongs equally to them. I am very proud of the tremendous contributions 
each of them is making to enhance the communities in which they live. And I am especially proud of Edward's leadership at Stickley with his insight, business acumen, and drive. And the commitment of our Stickley team, we will continue to enhance the Stickley legacy, always looking for new and creative ideas in our ongoing search for excellence. Congratulations to all of tonight's honorees on this well-deserved recognition. I am delighted to be amongst you. And many thanks to everyone involved in planning and organizing this wonderful evening. On behalf of my family and everyone at Stickley, I accept this award gratefully. The greatest accomplishment of my career is undoubtedly revitalizing Stickley and restoring its prominence in the high end of the furniture industry. But there are others as well. Remaining a family-owned business and seeing the next generation fully engaged. And perhaps what gives me a great deal of pleasure is creating a family-friendly and caring work environment where people from 37 different nationalities feel at home. Some of the keys to my success are surrounding ourselves with a great team that is very talented, has a can-do attitude, and is very committed. Since we bought the company, we had bought several other brands, but this is part of our enabling us to succeed and continue to grow and be more competitive. And we moved the manufacturing to Manlius, New York, where our modern facility is. We are in the very unique position of enhancing people's lives. I think we should continue focusing on providing quality. And all of us, whether we're in the furniture industry or others, we should give back to our communities. I have been very richly blessed. Before I entered this business, I was actually a freelance writer and reporter for The Voice of America, and I never dreamed that I'm going to be in the furniture industry. But I realized that so much of what one does has to do not with an industry as much as the people you work with and the quality of service you deliver. What drives me is my passion and love for what I do. I wake up every morning and I can't wait to get to work. So I would say I have no regrets and I don't know that I would do anything differently. And now for the magnificent close of tonight's celebration, experiencing the power of 2015, and here it is. What advice would you give to future industry leaders? Be innovative and always prepared for change. Keep up with the times. The world is changing, change with it. Big ideas generally bring bigger results. If you see something in another industry, or even in this industry, that looks clever and innovative, Try it. There has to be a tremendous emphasis on marketing. Quality products, sell it right. Whether it's with the printed word or a room vignette in photography, you want to create a story. It's the way the consumer is going to fall in love with the furniture. The furniture industry is about creating beautiful environments and beautiful homes. Do everything you can to bring the industry together. It'll improve the quality and create more momentum the more things that we can do to help the consumer, the more successful we all will be in this industry. You know, if you treat them well and, and you care about them, it all comes back to you and it, and it makes working a pleasure. Whatever I've done in my life, I enjoyed. I mean, I gotta tell you, get to love the industry or go find another industry to get into. Dealing every day with people you like is so important. I love the industry. We're a great industry. It was fun then, and it sure is fun to be where we are now.